Hey everybody, so for this video I thought I'd just do a quick like sort of mini haul video of stuff that I've bought over the, um, the past few weeks basically. Um, so I'll just get started and jump right in. Um, the first thing I actually ordered absolutely ages ago but it only came a couple of weeks ago because they were out of stock and yeah, um, it was from QVC and it's the Declio. Um, anti-aging starter kit and this was um on one of their either um like pick of the days or um like i don't know um one of their really good price deals i forgot what you call them on qvc um so um and it was on easy pay as well so it worked out at like eight pounds something per month so it was like th over three months so it worked out at £25 or something like that um, for these five five Declio things now I've never tried Declio before because it's a it's an inexpensive brand it's like a really high-end skincare brand and I like Liz Earl um, which is again high-end but it's not expensive compared to Declio expensive Declio is very expensive um, so I was interested to try it. I have wanted to try it but because it's so expensive and I don't know what it's like, it sort of puts me off spending a lot of money on it. Um, so because this is a starter kit and obviously they all like sort of travel size ones, it gives you the option to obviously decide whether you like it or not. And it has, this is um, the Aroma Cleanse um, and then this is the Aroma Toning Lotion. Um, you've got the what's it which cream which is your day cream there and then that is your night cream and then this one here is like um it's called like a rejuvenating serum and that's the top one there so you've got obviously basically your essentials for your skincare and um, like i say because they travel size so obviously for example the aroma cleanse is 75 mils um it just gives me the opportunity to try it, see what I think, if I like it. Even if I do like it, it's possibly not something that I would buy all of the time because it is expensive. It would be something that I would buy every once in a while if I feel like treating my skin. Um, as I say, I'm a massive Liz Earl fan, so that is my go-to skincare brand. But I have heard lots of good things on the Declio, so I was wanting to give it a try. And last night, I actually used up sad face the last of my um lizelle cleansing polish so, I, polish so i am gonna actually have to replace that um so i'm probably gonna start this starter kit before I, um and see how i go and i might actually do a video on it because obviously like i say i've never used it before so i might do um an actual sort of skincare facial routine with it um see how it go i actually like the box it comes in as well because it's nice and packed away so um so yeah that was that purchase that was from qvc the other skincare thing i got um basically because it's talked about that but much, because this is so is, talked about i was wanting to try it and i have actually used these two so these are actually things that i have been using and it's the cordially um beauty elixir spray and this is the mini size one so it's the 30 mils one which is like that and then I also got um, the cleansing water from Cordially as well. Now I had actually saw these in Boots um, and obviously they're not a bad price in Boots. However, I went online and I did see them in Boots and sort of thought, hmm, um denied over it. Um, came home and then had a look online and there was a website that um, has a discount on them, which, what was the name of it? something like unique beauty i want to think but i don't think it actually was called that where um i will put the information in the information bar below and they actually have the cordially on offer at the moment so i thought i would try the cleansing water because i do like to have although i use the cleansing polish i do like to have an eye makeup remover um for removing really heavy mascara and so i would remove my eye makeup first and then use the cleanser polish all over my skin. Although the cleanser polish does actually remove your makeup, I just find for me I prefer to take um, take my eye makeup off with an eye makeup remover first, and then use the cleanser polish. This isn't called an eye makeup remover; it is 
cleansing water so you can use it for your face and eyes and it's a bit like the Bioderma and um, which everybody raves about um, and this says it's um cleanses and removes makeup thoroughly yet gently and it's a non irritating formula suitable for the most sensitive skin um thanks to its soothing and hydrating active ingredients so you can use it in the morning and the evening as a cleansing lotion and obviously it actually um you can use it to remove makeup and it is fantastic for removing makeup actually and does remo remove the um the stubbornness of mascara it does actually remove it it has a really nice smell to it as well it's got like a really fresh smell to it obviously like i say i've been using it and it has a really fresh it's got mint in it mint and caraway and it has a fantastic smell and do you know what i was trying to i was actually trying to think what it reminded what the smell reminded me of because you know when you smell something you go, what is what does that remind you of it smells it like grass water which sounds odd but it does actually smell like fresh sort of fresh cut grass which which I love the smell of. I always like the smell of um, fresh cooked grass when it gets to spring, summer. But it actually smells really nice. So it's not like a, a really horrible smell. It's got a really lovely smell. And as you can see, I've nearly used half of this. And I've been using this for a couple of weeks now to remove my makeup. And I'm very impressed with it. This is a 200ml and I think it was £11 on this website. Like I say, I will find the website and I'll put the link below for you but yeah that is really good so I'm very impressed with that and I probably will purchase this more than I would possibly the Bioderma because I did use that up um, but that was expensive for what it was for the size you got whereas this has lasted me a bit longer and I don't know it works probably just as well if not better than the Bioderma but obviously I've only used the Bioderma once and I've only used this once so I'd have to use them quite a lot to make massive claims like that. Anyway, the other thing like I say is the Beauty Elixir from Cordially which everybody raves about um, and to be honest when I first got it I thought it was really odd because obviously it's got little, it's got grapefruit extracts in it. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, it has grapefruit extracts in it. So it's got like, like the top of the water looks mucky, but it's not actually mucky. It's like the grapefruit in it and you have to really shake it up and then spray it on your face. Whereas I didn't bother shaking it and sprayed it on my face and was like, oh, that was a bit odd. However, once you shake it up and spray it on your face, it's really nice. Don't like the smell of this as much as I like the smell of that. Love the smell of this. It's my type of smell, like fresh and just like a clean, yeah, well I said before it's not a clean smell, it is a clean smell, but a fresh, clean, natural smell. This, because it's grapefruit, I'm not a lover of grapefruit, I don't like grapefruit to eat, um, not a particularly lover of grapefruity type smells, but um, this one I'm just trying to think what's the smell. Yeah, it doesn't really have that. Well, yeah, it does have a grapefruit smell. It has an odd, odd grapefruit smell to it anyway. So I'm not overly keen on the grapefruit smell. It is nice on your skin. Um, I'm going to use the rest of it to see how I actually feel about it, whether it does any, but it has any benefits to my skin or not. It is sort of just exactly along the same lines as the um, um, Event Thermal spring water that I use as well and obviously that's cheaper than what this is so it's the same sort of thing it's like a you know like a natural spray um to tone your skin and as obviously you can use it as a beaut uh, like a makeup set uh, to set your makeup even and also to refresh your face so it's the same sort of thing as the thermal spring water that I like to use um obviously it might make a lot of difference to my skin. My skin has actually been quite nice recently. So I think that's a mixture of the Liz Earl and actually using more natural skincare products than actually using ones that aren't natural ingredient based, if that makes sense. Um, so whether or not this makes a vast improvement, watch this space. I'm probably gonna review this on my blog. So obviously do check that out in due course. Um, so we'll see how we go with that. Um, the next two things, let's see what I should show, the next two things are just hair things and I've just mentioned it in um, my empties video that I've obviously re-bought a Batiste but this is the Big and Bouncy XXL Volume Dry Shampoo 
Um, I've actually used this today and I was more keen on it today than I was the first time I used it. I wasn't keen on it the first time I used it because obviously it must have some sort of um, like hairspray or something in it that makes it feel different to the normal dry shampoo because obviously it's for giving you volume so it says it's to use this possibly rather than back combing or instead of back combing or just as good as back combing. Um, do you like it? I don't know whether I like it as much as the normal dry shampoo, just basically for dry shampoo purposes. Obviously it does work quite well for giving you volume as well, so see how we go with that. Probably review that on the blog as well. And the other thing obviously is just the L'Oreal Elnet um, hairspray, which is the very volume supreme hold one. Um, and obviously this is the go-to hairspray for everybody basically, because it's one that everybody uses. And it is just a fantastic hairspray. So nothing more to say on that really other than it's fantastic. Um, the other thing I've got here is this jumper. I'll show you this. Actually, no, I'll show you beauty things first, then I'll do clothes. Let me think. Um, I got this um, NYX, is it NYX? I don't know if I pronounced that right, but um, NYX palette from River Island. When I was actually buying this, well, I was going to do fashion look last but I basically got this black t-shirt top from River Island after I'd exchanged something else and it's got like see-through see-through detailing um, around the top of your sleeve and obviously all the way down the side as well so obviously for the daring people out there you would wear it with just your bra possibly but I actually have it I've laid it up with a vest top because I'm not that daring at all and don't really want to show my bar off and my skin off to everybody and actually it's not really appropriate for going to work in so that's why I've put like a vest top underneath you don't want to be flashing your bits off at work so that's never a good thing um so anyway yeah I got this NYX palette along with this t-shirt from River Island um, and this is six pounds and it is basically it's just a fun glitter cream palette and as you can see I've had my finger in every single one because I was just I was desperate to try it out so I do apologise so I have had my finger in them. I love the colours of them, not so keen possibly on the gold one but I love the colours of them. Whether or not they great pay off for glitter I'm not too sure because they, when actually when you actually do like a swatch with them the cream colour is basically not that pigmented and it's more glitter than it is like the colour so you end up with like a load of glitter everywhere Um that was just on swatching it I haven't actually tried them yet so I'm going to give them a whirl at some point and let you all know possibly review it on the blog Um so that's that I just thought it was a fun makeup purchase Um other makeup purchase is two things I got from Space and Care because they are having a slight sale at the moment. So I got this um, Lipstick Queen um, lip gloss and I got a Lime Crime Magic Dust from Space and Care basically just because they were in the sale. I don't often buy from Space and Care um, online um, because of the package, like the postage costs. And the newest space in care to me is Newcastle, um, which I don't really go into when I go shopping in Newcastle. I don't tend to go in it, but um, when I do go into space in care, it tends to be in Harrogate. When I go to Harrogate, which is not that often, but I tend to go to Harrogate once or twice a year, so I'll go into space in care then. Um, but uh, crazily, don't go in the one newest to me, so how odd. Um, actually, tell a lie. I have looked in every now and again, but I don't really buy anything in the one in Newcastle. I tend to buy in Harrogate, so that was telling the slight lie. So anyway, diver diverting away from what I've actually was going to talk about. So yeah, I got this Lime Crime, um, which I don't really want to open to show you the colour because it's all going to fall out. But basically, it's this Lime Crime Magic Dust in um, this blue colour, and I can't get the top back on called Shoe Addict, which is quite fitting for me, um, So because yeah, I do like my shoes. So it's Shoe Addict, and um, yeah, basically you can use this for obviously, um, you can wear over Lime Crime eyeshadow helper, oh, it says for, wear it over the eyeshadow helper for extra long lasting results, well obviously I didn't buy the eyeshadow helper, 
um, but obviously you can use it, it's a loose eyeshadow um, you can use it as an eyeshadow or you can wet it and use it as a liner and I thought it was quite a nice blue colour, I'm quite into blues, I keep wanting to do stuff with blue on my eyes so um, yeah and I like the packaging, the packaging quite cute because on the front it's got like a unicorn um, and this bow detailing with lime crime on it so I thought that was quite cute and um, I like the packaging as well, the box that it comes in, it sort of reminds me of um, Rainbow Bright and that makes me sound quite old, that was an 80s like sort of cartoony thing but yeah it reminds me of Rainbow Bright and a bit like she -Ra. so yeah anyway <laughs> and the other thing I've got is this lip Lipstick Queen lip gloss um, I do have one other Lipstick Queen product and that's like a crayon um, a lip crayon which is you know a bit like the um, God, my brain, Clinique Chubby Sticks and the Revlon um, lip stain, um, kissable lip balm stains. Um, so I do have one of the, of the uh, one of the products by Lipstick Queen, and I've quite fancied one of these lip glosses for ages. Um, and then obviously it was in the sale, and I thought, oh, I'll try that because um, it wasn't that much. I think it was only four pounds in the sale maybe um, and this, these are called the 15 minutes of fame pop art gloss glosses and this is six minutes they're all different minutes the different colours the only thing I found with this is it's come and I've hardly used, I haven't used any of it I just basically swatched it and put it once on my lips but it looks like it's half less than half full the gloss so mm, wasn't really, I was a bit surprised by that by that so I wasn't particularly impressed basically you twist the bottom and then obviously use it and it's a lovely orange colour which I'm quite into orange corally things at the moment as well um, so I was liking that and it's um, it's not really a tacky gloss either like I say I've only put it on my lips once so I'm going to try it out um, I thought it was quite moisturising when I first put it on but we'll see how it go and I am going to do a review on the blog the more I use it. But like I say, it's like half full the gloss and that, that, that was a bit surprising so if I'd pay full price for it, I don't think I particularly would have been impressed by that but um, but yeah, anyway. Um, the last makeup y thing or beauty thing is this nails um, nail colour from Topshop um, and this is called Eyes of Steel and it's this lovely purpley silvery silver colour um, and I love it. I uh, haven't tried it on yet because I only got it yesterday um, but yeah I do like that and I like the um, Topshop nail like Topshop makeup packaging it's really cute with the little polka dots on it so looking forward to trying that so I'm going to try that a go. Um, so moving on to um, like clothing items, I've only got two to show you, obviously I've got this t-shirt on or top on that I got in River Island but I also got this from River Island which is this lovely star necklace and obviously it's quite a short necklace and you've got this little star charm detail in gold and then you've got this, this that comes down and it's got like a little drop pearl on the bottom of it don't know if you can see that but yeah I really like that I've worn that a few times and that was only £3.50 so it was like a bargain basically and the last thing I'm going to show you is just basically this jumper I got from George um, which I thought was actually quite good for the colder days in summer to autumn and obviously it will translate to winter because it's got like a nice neon-y thing going on it's just basically a stripey loose knit jumper from George, it's got like the neon orange, it's got beige, it's got black, and it'll just wear with jeans and a vest top and things like that. So, and that was it. So, now I've rambled on for loads about loads of stuff. I'm gonna go and, um, yeah, I'm like I say, I'm probably gonna look to do a couple of videos with the Decli, uh, well, no, video with the Decli, or and I'm gonna plan a lot more videos, so I'm getting a lot more up here. And um, obviously if you want to see a particular video or any type of video, do put them in the comments below and I look forward to reading them. Anyway, I'm going to go for now and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!